Hi guys, welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. I've got some water here. Or at least I think it's water. What's the test for water? This is something you need to know for all the exam boards at GCSE and at IGCSE. So let's look at the test for water. Okay guys, what I have here is white anhydrous copper sulfate. Basically, I took some blue copper sulfate crystals, heated them in the oven, and um, they became anhydrous. It gently evaporated the water. So let's find out what happens when you add water to anhydrous copper sulfate. I'm just sucking up some of the water from the glass. And here we go. Let's add the water. So as I add the water back to the anhydrous copper sulfate, it turns blue and we call this hydrated copper sulfate so the blue color you see with certain copper sulfates is because it has water in it so another test for water is to take this which is cobalt chloride paper as you can see here and it's blue in color or bluish in color i can make it bluer if i put it in the oven and evaporate any moisture from the papers um what I'm going to do here, this is another viable answer in your exams. If you dip in cobalt chloride paper into water, it turns pink. I mean, it looks a bit white there. But you can see it's going more and more pink as I leave it. I'll do that again. This is blue to pink. I know it's whitish pink, but really you just need to say blue to pink. And those are your two tests for water. So learn those because they can come up in the chemical analysis section of your IGCSE or GCSE exams. Let's get to the marks.